So today in exploring Eastern Europe, we are going to be comparing landscapes. Now, comparing landscapes means looking at a photo and seeing the differences between one photo and another, or seeing the differences between one landscape and another landscape. So the aim of today's lesson is to be able to compare features of Eastern Europe landscapes with my own area. In your case, it will be Tagada or El Luna. So you will be comparing places in Eastern Europe with places in Hergada or El Luna. And you will be able to describe how latitude can influence the landscape of an area. And during the lesson, I will explain what latitude is, although you should know it already. And you will be able to say about important physical features in an area of Eastern Europe and identify differences between a place in Eastern Europe and where you are now. You will also be able to identify similar things between a place in Eastern Europe and Hergada or Elguna. Okay, so I do any of you have a pen and paper in front of you? No? Okay. Yes, I do. All right. Can I use my computer? Miss, I can go get one. Those of you that also... Uh-oh, you unmuted yourselves without asking me. So, those of you that have a pen and paper next to you, you have one minute to quickly draw Whatever comes to your head, something, a landscape or something that you think looks like Eastern Europe, something that you might find in Eastern Europe. It can be a sketch of anything you like that you think Eastern Europe looks like. And remember that some of you are from Eastern Europe, so you might find this easy. Yes, I don't know what's in Eastern Europe. I never well, saw Well, this is why I said to... what you think. What you yeah, think. I'm not too. giving you any answers. No talking. You've got, it can be a house. It can be a landscape. It can be the mountains. It can be anything you want. Right, we have a hand up. No, we don't. Okay, so you've got one minute starting from now. I'm interested to see what you all draw, what you think Eastern Europe might look like. Houses, gardens, shops, mountains, lakes, rivers, anything. Even if it's wrong, it doesn't matter. I just want to see what you think you might find in Eastern Europe or what you think it might look like. Yasin looks very thoughtful. John is don't know what she's thinking. Salma is frozen in selfie mode. Yusuf looks like a robot. Mohammed has turned off his camera. Alexandra's drawing away our little Picasso. We have Kenzie who's Miss, deep in thought. Lila. I, I'm out of paper, so I, I can't draw, but I, I, I looked it up and I know what the house is like. Who is stuck. Tarek, who's busy drawing, I can see a pencil, and Adam, who has no camera. Lisa, you look like a rat thumb. I can't see Karma, Ellie, or Mustafa. Basant is drawing, drawing me a kiss. 
Oh, blowing me a kiss. Yusuf, I can't see you. Lily is frozen. There we go. You've got 15 seconds. Karma looks very, very thoughtful. I wonder what she's drawing. Right. Mm, not long. 10, 9, 8, cameras on everyone, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, cameras on Ellie Mustafa Muhammad Yusuf, both Yusufs, okay, hold up your pictures. Miss Kylie? Yeah. I I didn't draw like on a piece of paper. I like uh, did something on the iPad. It's like an app that I use. Papers up to the camera, guys. Wow. So, Alex drew mountains with factories in the background. Jana drew, I can't see. Clouds and mountains. Kenzie drew houses, mountains, and trees. Salma, I can't see. Lila did the mountains with the sun and cloudy weather. Well done. Ellie, I can't see. It's snow. It's a snow mountain. Oh, Ellie drew a snowy mountain. Karma, what did you draw? Don't worry. Tarek drew some a supermarket with a 25% discount. Well done. And the rest of you are frozen or you don't have your cameras on. Okay, that's fine. Let's get back to the lesson. Well done. So you've used your imagination and <clears throat> you've thought about what Eastern Europe might look like. Now, can you put your hands up? If you've been to Eastern Europe, put your hands up if you've been to anywhere in Eastern Europe. So we have Lisa and oh, and Alexandra. Is that all? Mohammed, have you not been to Eastern Europe with your father? No, I think only my father went. Oh, okay. We were right. going to travel with him in the Easter, but uh, in the Christmas, but we couldn't. And then in the Easter, we, we got struck with Corona. Yeah. Coronavirus. Oh, well, we can pretend that you've been to Eastern Europe after this lesson. So we've now shared our sketches with the class and with me. And what I have noticed is that a lot of you drew mountains, a lot of you drew cloudy skies, um, but only one person who's actually been there has drawn the factories behind the mountains. So there are cities, okay? It's not like Egypt where you've got the desert and then you've got separate cities. Um, we're going to look at that more closely. So Alexandra gave you a first hand account of what Eastern Europe looks like. Lisa? Yes. Yes, you put your hand up. Uh, no, I just didn't lower it. Ah, uh, okay. So everyone unmute yourselves and Think for a second and then put your hands up and tell me what you think this photograph looks like. If no one Which one? Their hand, the photograph I've just put on the screen. Okay, let's go for Alexandra. Mm -hmm. Alexandra, tell me what do you think this photograph looks like? Oh, I see there's a black screen. 
She's muted. Oh no, Alexandra, I can't hear you. There we go. Alexandra, what do you think this looks like? Ukraine or Russia. Ukraine or Russia. Okay. Uh, what makes you think that? Because when I was living in Ukraine, I was living almost in the same place. So it, it looks, looks similar. Like the place I lived. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ellie, tell me. Uh, I think this is Eastern Europe because you said it's a city and uh, there's also a bit of uh, like this. Okay, let, let me tell you now that every photo I show you is Eastern Europe, but they are all in different countries of Eastern Europe. So Alexandria thinks because of the buildings and the factories in the background that this could be Ukraine or Russia. Does anybody else have their hands up? No? Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, who, what do you think this place looks like? Italy? No, you put your hands up. Kenzie? I think it's Russia. What makes you think it's Russia? Because in the back there's all these like cool shaped buildings and the funny looking architectures and you know, a very good point is the domes on top of the buildings. Yeah, the 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 round domes. Yeah, in if you Google a photo of Moscow, you'll see all the wonderful buildings with these types of domes on the top. Yes, I don't have to Google them because my dad, when he went there, he took me, he showed me real life pictures. Yeah, I mean, I've never been, but I've seen from photos. Lisa, did you have your hand up? What do you think, Lisa, as you are Russian? Could this be Russia? Lisa? Yes. Um, I just yeah. wanted to answer that this is Russia. Okay, what, what, you tell us, as you are Russian, why is this Russia? Uh, because this is like the famous point in Russia. It's called Kremlin. Okay, and what's the buildings in the background? Um, the one that's like red, like orange red. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. It's uh, and the one that's um, with the golden brown top. It's uh, a famous church. Okay, so you're a hundred percent certain that this is your country, Russia. Yeah, Kenzie's found it. Kenzie's found it. Right, let's move on to the next one. Parik, what do you think this looks like? A beach. Yeah, where do you think it could be? Hawaii? Eastern Europe, remember? Think of the countries okay. that might have a beach in Eastern Europe. Uh, you can look it up. Kenzie's put her mm. hand up. Kenzie, where do you think this might be? Maybe Croatia. Possibly Croatia. Any other country you can think of on the coast she's in the, Eastern she's Europe? She, she's on the beach. Okay, so, so far we have seen... Oh, Alexandra has her hand up. Yes, Alex? I think it's Turkey. Turkey, is Turkey in Eastern Europe? Mm, I don't really know. Look, check that out. So, so far we've got a beach, so we know that some countries in Eastern Europe are on the coast. We've got cities, and we've got beautiful architecture in the cities. Uh, what about this one? 
very green, looks like it could be a cold and wet place. What do you think it looks like? I know what it is, I think. Who could it be? Who was that, Mohammed? No, that was me. Who's me? Tarek. Tarek, tell me, where do you think this could be and what does it look like? It looks like Iceland. Okay, but is Iceland in Eastern Europe? Anybody else think they might know? Someone describe to me what they can see in the picture. No one? Well, I'll just... Mustafa mountains. Mustafa, tell me, what do you see? I can see a lot of mountains with a lot of grass on it. A lot of mountains with a lot of grass. Jana? I, I can see lots of like, um, if you look down, there's, there's like little houses. So there's little pounds, lots of mountains, lots of lots grass. Of, lots of trees. Lots of trees. Anybody tell me what the weather looks like? Um. Uh, Mustafa, tell me what the weather looks like. The weather is very rainy because uh, how will all of this grass and trees grow when there is no rain? Exactly, and also another clue in the picture are the clouds. Now, somebody tell me the difference between this picture and where we are living here. Adam, go on, you have a go. Adam, tell me the difference between this picture. Is it, Switzerland? is it Switzerland? No, Switzerland is not Eastern Europe, but I'm asking you to tell me the difference between this picture and her garden. This and her garden? What's the difference? Miss, there's a big difference. There's a huge difference. Yeah, here there is grass and garden. there is not a lot of grass. Exactly, but lots of other things as well. Can anybody see the sea, Ellie? Uh, Miss, in in Egypt, there's a lot, there's a there's a sea and there's also, but there's not a lot of the uh, agriculture. So because there's not a lot of rain and in here there there mu it must be a cold place with lots of rain so because there's lots of uh, uh, grass and uh, there's lots of trees exactly uh, and mountains and mountains Jana you've got your hand the up the difference is that it it's, it's really sunny here, and over there will be really cold. Okay. And that Hergada has lots of shops and lots if of... we are a city, the picture you see yeah. is not a city. So, a city. <clears throat> Lily's got her hand up, the last one. Um, Kylie, I, I looked it up at the, uh, like in, on the internet, and I think it's... Uh, in the west of Ukraine? Possibly, I don't know where these photos are taken, but we're looking at the difference. So, Hagada is a city, it's on the coast, it's very dry, it's yellow, it's arid, there's not much vegetation. This photo shows very rainy weather, it shows it to be very green, there's little towns at the bottom of the hills, Hagada has lots of buildings, lots of main roads, lots of shops. You don't see that in this picture. Right. Quickly, Basan, tell me about this picture. Where could it be? 
What could it be? No, Vasant. Anyone else? Kenzie. Um, it could be like it's a city. It yeah. Could be it's a city and you know that because of the buildings in the background. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, the country. Russia? Russia? It could be Russia. Um, the differences are clearly this town is possibly on a hill. It's not level. It's densely populated. The weather looks very either very polluted or it looks cold. Uh, someone, Al Ajana? Is, it, is the country Turkey? No, look it up. See if Turkey is Eastern Europe. But then we've got colors. In Haggadah, you don't have houses set on the side of a hill. You don't have tall sk skyscrapers in the background. Normally our skies are blue and sunny. So there is quite a big difference between Hagada and the place that is in this picture. So then we have different architecture. Guys, the reason I'm going fast is because there's only seven minutes left of this lesson and I just want to talk to you. So we have different kinds of architecture. Um, once again, cloudy weather, we've got quite modern, futuristic buildings. Um, we have trees, we have greenery, we have top of the art architecture. We don't have what you see in this picture here in Hagada or Elguna. So lines of latitude. Okay, these are those lines you see in the picture. So, some, Ellie, tell me really quickly, which lines of latitude does Eastern Europe cross? Now remember, north, south, east and west. We did this in class. Ellie, can you tell me okay. roughly where Eastern Europe is on that map? It's in uh, Europe, but in the Eastern, which is... Uh, Towards Asia, maybe? Yeah, like maybe next to Asia, but in Europe. Oh, but it's in Europe, but next to Asia. Okay. So, are you telling me it's from 70 down to 40? No, 60. 60, okay, if you want to say 60 to 40, that box there, all of that is Eastern Europe. Now, let's look. Do you know about the area above 66 north, where the line is? Anybody know? It's not heavily populated. And the daylight hours vary from no hours of sunlight in the winter to 24 hours of sunlight in the summer. We know about that. Some places don't get any light in the winter. You know that? Why? Lily? Yes. What, your hand? Oh, on? I forgot. Uh, I forgot to lower my hand from the time that. Uh, okay, Alex, Alexandra, tell me. I have a question. Will we talk about war? This is geography. We'll talk about war in, uh, in history. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some places in Eastern Europe in the winter get absolutely no sunlight. But in the summer, they only get sunlight. It never gets... I wonder what place this is. Sorry? I 
want to know which place this is. This is something I'm going to give you to look up. Okay, so you must know that the more north you go in Eastern Europe, the less sunlight you are going to get. But the more sunlight you will get in the summer. So we're going to be looking at the physical features of Eastern Europe what you actually find and see in use Eastern Europe. Now I've given you three worksheets. One is super easy, one is slightly hard, and the other one is the hardest. So the Russia one is the easy one, the Ukraine one is the middle one, and the Turkey one is supposed to be the hard one. But you guys are super intelligent, you won't find any of them hard, I promise you. You are allowed to use your books, atlases, and you are allowed to use the internet to find out about these areas in Eastern Europe. And well done to those of you who said Turkey, because Turkey is in Eastern Europe. I was thinking some of you might get confused that it's North Africa, but well done guys. Turkey is in Eastern Europe. And once you have done oh, your sorry. little bit of research, I would like you to write just a couple of sentences about how the location you looked at, so Turkey, Ukraine, Russia, is similar or different to where you live, okay? Explain in a couple of sentences how the area may be similar or different and where you would prefer to live, whether it's in one of those places that you have researched or if you prefer to live where you are living now. Do we all understand? Yes. Right, yeah. really, really quickly, um, I was told at the beginning of the lesson um, that, is it Miss Margot changed social studies for you all? Yeah. 